Dark Sun Gwendolyn defeated. So, now let's go get the spoils of war here. Game over? What do you mean, game over? He's not the final boss. I, I... Lore-wise, I'd say he's the main antagonist, but he's not the final boss. Oh yeah, this, this chest is empty. Don't ask me why. I don't know why. I don't know if this has lore significance for this chest to be empty, but it is. Anyway. Uh, you get the Miracle of the Sunlight Blade here, and if you look at the Sunlight Blade's description, I'm pretty sure it says something that's Solaire. Let's look at it. Miracle wielded by Lord Gwyn's firstborn. Boost right weapon in the rays of the sun. So, this is Lord Gwyn's tomb. Solaire uses that miracle. Um, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, in my opinion, it's very likely that Solaire is Lord Gwyn's uh, firstborn. And we get the brass set. Alright, that's what I was looking for. So the brass set... looks badass. Check that shit. Check that fucking shit. Isn't that not the coolest shit you've ever seen? I don't know. I just, I really like the brass set. It's cool. So this is the set I think we're going to be rocking for the rest of the game. Unless we need, you know, a certain type of specific defense. Like for this, I had to wear the gold hem set for this because his his magic damage is literally off the charts. Anyway. Let's see, where's a good place to drop this message? I think here is a good place. I'll just drop it here. Attributes... Objects? Yep. You can't take a Steam sh screenshot in here? Fine, I'll print screen. Where is print screen on there? There it is. Now I gotta check if I got it. Hold on one sec. Indeed, I did. Okay. Um, I'll just save this, I guess. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not erasing my message. Hopefully that gives me the most amount of humanity ever. Try ring. Hey, good message, dude. Need ring. Good message. So, this is, uh, I, I didn't know this, but I would assume that killing Dark Sun Gwendolyn would bring the Anor Dark Anorlando on, but, uh, you'd be wrong, apparently. Bonfire head, that's true. I wonder if What's-Her-Face is pissed at me. She's probably pissed at me. Let's go find out. Would be surprised if she's not pissed. Oh, she's pissed. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> She's using Dark Moon Blade, which is, like, literally... Oh, look at that damage. Uh, Dark Moon Blade is the best weapon buff in the game. Um, I wonder if I... do some, like, unparryable attacks. I think that's a parrying dagger she's using, so I'm a little bit wary of attacking her when that's up, but I think she can't parry my jumps. Anyway, so unfortunately this bonfire is uh, out for the duration of our game. Um, yeah, I was a little bit... Anyway, yeah, so 
But whatever, we got a Firekeeper Soul out of it. That's pretty good. Anyway, she's a Blade of the Dark Moon, so it's not surprising that she is pissed at me once I uh, killed her, you know, her boss, basically. <clears throat> but I'm surprised that we don't have Dark Anna Orlando. Um, so if you kill Gwyn uh, Guinevere, basically all it requires is one uh, arrow or one one piece of damage to... I can't take this. Oh my god, shut up, dude. What, you got a gargoyle? Oh, it's so hard. It's so hard to kill a gargoyle. Anyway, um... If you, if you kill Guinevere, it turns into Dark Anna Orlando, and all of the enemies go away, but you get hunted by the Blades of the Dark Moon. There's two ways for the Blades of the Dark Moon to invade. Oh, that's not the way I wanted to go. Whoops. Turn around. There's two ways for the Blades of the Dark Moon to invade. They get a blue eye orb, which invades people of their level. Um, so, like, within, I think it's like 10% of their level, they invade guilty people. Um, and, you know, it works just like Dark Wraiths. Um, except they, I think they only invade 10% up. They can't invade all the way up. Uh, okay, so... Let me explain this. If you're a Dark Wraith, you're an invader, right? You use your Red Eye Orb. You can invade people whose levels are 10% lower than you to people who's to anything up above that. So you could get, theoretically, if you're a Dark Wraith, you could be level 40, and you could invade, like, a level 700 and get your ass kicked. And, I mean, that's yeah, I think that's a good system because, you know, you're a Dark Wraith and you're being a dick, so... You should probably assume some, I don't want to say responsibility, but, like, risk for that. Anyway, if you're a Blade of the Dark Moon, you invade only guilty people, uh, people who have sinned, and you invade 10% above and 10% below your current level. So we'll rest here, and we'll warp back to Firelink. Um, but you're also given a ring that lets you invade Dark and Orlando by people people who've killed Guinevere, you can invade any level. Literally any wing. So you can be level 700, and yes, that's like... That's around the max level. I think the max level is like 715 or something. It depends on your starting class. Anyway, um... But you can invade people um, at max level. You can invade like a level 40. Uh, who happened to have killed Guinevere and, you know, is human. So, those are your two ways to invade. So if you kill Guinevere, uh, you should probably be prepared to get invaded a couple times by some Blade of the Dark Moons. Um, so that's, I mean, also, it's like, Dark, Dark Anna Orlando sucks. <laughs> it's really dark, and I don't like it, and I like Anna Orlando when it's, when it's all light and stuff, so... Uh, we might kill Guinevere, we might not, but there's not really anything to show you it once she's dead, because all of the enemies leave. There's like two enemies that just take places of the other enemies. Anyway. Fatty? Ray is not a fatty. Don't be mean. Yes, yes, I want your miracles. So she sells the best miracles in the game. Um, Wrath of the Gods is, like, really good. <laughs> it's, uh, a lot of people call it OP, and I tend to agree. Um, but we're gonna buy it. We don't have quite enough faith to use it yet, but that's okay. Um, great heal. Let's see, what does great heal expert have? Yeah, we'll get great heal. 
and uh, that's pretty much the only one. Seek Guidance is kind of helpful in one particular instance, so we might as well buy that. Um, also, I think you can buy a... oh, just a regular Talisman, never mind. If you talk to her. Don't beat yourself up too bad for it. Very anox indeed. So if you talk to her again. The way she says, may we discuss miracles then, it kind of makes me feel like she's hitting on me. She's like, ah, I can't wait to discuss miracles with you. But anyway, so here's the deal with Rhea and Petrus and Vince and Nico. So Rhea went undead, and she's a member of the Way of White Covenant. And in the, when you're in the Way of White Covenant and you go undead, you're sent on a mission, a suicide mission basically, to go to the catacombs and get to the right, get the right of kindling. Now I've done that because you know I'm the chosen undead and I'm a badass. But Rhea and her companions just couldn't cut it. So they get down there, and my theory is that Vince, Nico, and Rhea are all undead. So they are kind of consigned to their fate. However, Petrus is not undead. He is... Um, well, first of all, there's a couple reasons why I believe this. One, he's scared of dying. Because he went into the catacombs, and, like, if you talk to Lautrec later, Lautrec's like, he just came back, like, three seconds later from the catacombs. And so, I think that Petrus was kind of forced on this mission that he knew to be pretty much a suicide mission. Uh, and he's not too pleased, so he decided to get some revenge on, um, maybe not revenge, but he, I, I guess, passively, aggressively left Rhea, Vince, and Nico to their deaths. Um, so he's kind of a dick. Ah, oh, you. Have you seen the lady? Last, where might she be? Would she be safe? Oh, I'm sorry. Miracles, was it? Sometimes I lose myself. Pay me no mind. Alright, so if if we leave him alive, he will kill Rhea. So we don't want that to happen, because she's selling us miracles. So fuck you, bitch. I God, I love killing Petrus. He's like, to be honest, he's my least favorite NPC. <laughs> Even worse than Lautrec. Lautrec is bad, but like, pe everybody hates Petrus. Petrus is just awful. He's just an awful person. So, feels good to kill him, man. I I've, I don't think I've ever gone a playthrough without killing him. Um, just because, like, it's just, ugh, just yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a dirty, dirty, awful man. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and offer our souls to the Lord Vessel here. Just one more is needed to unlock Gwyn's prison, and that is Seath the Scaleless. Uh, we could go defeat him at the moment. Um, what I think I'm going to do is warp. Wow, this is crazy. So many warp places here. Um, warp back to this. I guess I'll show you guys um, Wrath of the Gods here. Oh wait, I might not have the faith required to wield it. I don't. I need 28, and I only have 20. So never mind. Um, so I guess there's a couple loose ends I can tie up around here. 
I really like this armor.